I'm going to create a series of YouTube videos and teach you how to solve any 3x3 Rubik's Cube. The method that I've learned is done in seven easy steps. So we're going to start with step number one in this video and proceed from there. Now the first thing we need to do is establish which side of the Rubik's Cube each color belongs to. And that's done by looking at the color of the piece in the center of each side. This being the white side, this being the blue side, and etc. So I've always learned to start with the green side. So locate the green center of your Rubik's Cube and we're going to focus on that side. For this step, we only need to worry about creating a green cross down and across. We do not need to worry about any corners or any other parts of the Rubik's Cube. So we don't have to focus on that at all. Now in this particular case, you'll notice that we, we started with a green square already in place. However, this particular square is the green and white. And this does not match the side. What we need to do is create a green cross where all the sides match, as well as creating a green cross. Now because this one's already sort of in the right place, it's really easy to match up. So now we're gonna find the white side Here's the white side, note the white center, and all we have to do is turn the top so that they line up. Now we have green into white and everything lines up. So we're part way done. Now we need to find the other green sides. So if we look around our cube, I see here's the yellow and green side. And if you'll look, the yellow is already connected here. So all we need to do is move this green side up to the top. This is a pretty easy move. All we have to do is turn this up. Now we have the green into the yellow side. So it's two sides left. The last one of the next sides is this red and green piece. Now this is the orange center. And this is the red center. So this piece needs to move up here to complete the red into the green. So the easiest thing to do here is to take this green side and put it on the bottom of the cube. See, now it's on this bottom layer here. And we're going to spin it around until now it's on the red side, but it's on the bottom. So now we would simply spin this up and we'll notice that it is in the right side, but the red and the green are backwards. So what we do to fix that when we have a piece that's flipped is we put the piece that's incorrect on its side. So now the red and the green is over here. We're going to turn the top one. We're going to turn the side up. And you'll notice that it's starting to look like a green cross. And now we're going to turn the top back. So now you'll see that this red and green piece is correctly oriented. We have green into red, green into yellow, green into white, and we have one last one to do, which is this green into orange. So we have to locate that piece. So if I look around the cube, we see that it's right here. In this case, it's pretty easy because it's already connected to the orange. So all we have to do is turn the piece up twice and all now we have a green cross and all four color sides line up correctly that's the first step to solving the 3x3 rubik's cube